social media check-in. Uh, first one comes from Lil Miss D37 on Instagram. The 11th of next month is one year since my interview. After the anniversary, I would like to file or threat, uh, threaten a mandamus. Uh, how much is that going to cost? One million dollars. One million dollars. <laughs> I will hold USCIS hostage for one million dollars. <laughs> I don't know how much it's going to cost me. Vanessa. <laughs> uh, Guillemana Burris on YouTube. Um, I'm going to be placed in removal because I am out of status. I am waiting for my priority dates to apply for adjustment of status. What can I do? She's in removal right now? I'm going to be placed in uh, removal. Important. She's not there but yet. She should have a consultation with me and we'll figure out some relief from removal. I don't know what her relief would be. We would need to speak. Daniel Kyerme uh, on YouTube. My brother filed a, a, or filled out his N-400 and added a child he didn't know uh, before getting his green card. Now, what can he do? He had a child and he either purposefully negligently or unknowingly didn't list that child when he got his green card and now all of a sudden this child exists. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Mm -hmm. Because now yeah. that's potential misrepresentation depending on what type of case you did. So he needs a consultation with a lawyer to find out why that happened and, uh, and have a good explanation. Mel Royal on Instagram, I'm undocumented and I have two U.S. citizen kids. I got married in 2018 and my husband is a U.S. citizen. He petitioned for me last year and it got approved. My husband has been cruel to me in this marriage. I want to do a vow case. But what are my odds if I have two arrests, both misdemeanors, uh, and she gives the code. I know we don't know it, but it's withheld adjudicated for two baggie, baggies of weed and withheld adjudicated. I used a friend's ID to get into a nightclub. Well, uh, we would need to see the uh, adjudication withheld doesn't necessarily mean I don't know what state that is. So I need to know a little more. But the answer to you is if you came undocumented and you file a VAWA, you could adjust versus being undo you know being undocumented without any documents on how you came here you would have needed to have done a provisional waiver so on a vowa you could adjust even if you entered without inspection and if you have misdemeanors that would otherwise prevent you from getting a green card uh you can do a waiver uh for your uh adjustment through a vowa uh based on hardship to yourself and even if those two misdemeanors were so serious that you can't get a waiver. You're not eligible for a waiver. Uh, I would file the VAWA anyway because you don't, you don't need to uh, do a waiver to get the I-360 approved. And at least you would get uh, uh, a work permit and uh, they would not put you in deportation with an approved I-360 despite the fact that you have two criminal records. Mysterious underscore, underscore Queen B on Instagram asks, is it possible that after five months, the person still did not receive a receipt from immigration? I would say if you filed something, you didn't get a receipt from immigration after five months, either they didn't get your application or got lost in the mail. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.